Why do 90% of new Christians find Leviticus confusing? Let's break it down together. Leviticus, sounds intense, right? Well, it's actually the third book of the Bible, and it's packed with rules and rituals. But why all the rules? Think of it as God setting up house rules for the Israelites after freeing them from Egypt. First off, Leviticus is named after the Levites, priests who were like the ancient world's life coaches. They helped people live holy and healthy lives. Now, the book is split into two main parts. The first part, chapters 1, 17, covers sacrifices and rituals. Kind of like ancient BBQs with a divine twist. For example, Leviticus 1, 3 talks about burnt offerings. Totally not your average Sunday roast. The second part, chapters 18, 27, dives into the holiness code. It's all about living a life set apart. Leviticus 19, 18 says, love your neighbor as yourself. Sounds familiar, right? Jesus himself quoted this. Now history-wise, this was a guidebook for a community learning to live together and worship God. They were figuring out how to be distinct from other nations around them. So, if Leviticus feels like a maze of do's and don'ts, just remember it's all about building a relationship with God and living in harmony with others. And hey, even if you don't have to worry about offering goats and grain today, the principles of love and holiness are timeless. Thanks for joining me on this whirlwind tour of Leviticus. Got questions? Drop them below and let's chat. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.